hearing you all talk, there, there, there are a couple things that, that I'm sort of jotting some notes down here. Uh, and, and Kristen, we were talking about this previously before the panel started. Uh, this One, there's this concept of success. So what, what does success even look like? Because uh, that's this, we can sit here and talk about that all day long, I believe. Uh, you know, there are cultural differences when you think about what success uh, you know, looks like. Is it just about getting a degree? Is it about building a, a network of folks, um, you know, when you go off to college? Uh, there's also this mindset that, we're, that we're, we're all sort of getting into, whether that's confidence. And, and, and I think this is an, er an area that we have yet to do very much on right now. And I would like the folks here to, to speak to how we believe we can impact the mindset and build a, a you know, if, what, what should success look like for, for the students we're talking about, and then how could you build this in students, this capacity, you know, the, the self-efficacy, uh, you know, the self-agency, you know, all these things that we know are going to help students persist in the, you know, when, they're, when they have a flat tire, uh, you know, all these things. So first, get to success and what, what you believe that looks like, and then we'll talk about this, this mindset. I'll start down there, Jeff. Well, sure. I mean, we, we have been reflecting on this topic a lot with our faculty at the school, and we've been uh, reading a lot and thinking about some of the work of uh, Angela Duckworth from the uh, University of Pennsylvania. And so we have an advisory system. Uh, every member of the staff, I, I have advisees. We have about, a, we have 11, I took the juniors in the high school. They're the ones that are settled. They're not sophomores in the month of those and the freshmen. <laughs> freshmen have a lot of issues. And the seniors are worried about college, so I took the juniors. <laughs> They're a lot easier. So I, you know, I feel better about myself. Uh, so the, um, but, but we're, we're, we're kind of uh, in advisory this year, which is a 20-minute session once a week, and then some activities throughout the year. We're reflecting on resiliency. We're, we're reflecting on perseverance. We're reflecting on what it takes to be successful in life. So it's, there's a chance to have an authentic reflection about your experience at school, where you've been successful, and what are the qualities of, of, of a successful person, of a successful student, and a, and a successful college student in the future. And, and I mean, if you look at, read some of Angela Duckworth's, or anybody else that's really out there, there's, it, it really comes down to things like resiliency, perseverance, self-discipline, these are the things that need to be taught, that need to be reflected on. And with high school students, at least the kids that I work with, um, you can't, you can't like give a lecture on resiliency. You can't give a lecture on perseverance. They've got to reflect on it in their lives. They've got to reflect on where they're experiencing this in their lives, where they see it. And um, we've had some success through our advisory system at our school uh, on, on getting kids to, to think more uh, reflectively about, about these traits. The other thing that we have going for us is the work study experience, uh, we, we, which is unique to our school and a few other, other, other places in Boston. We work with kids that have, had, that have not experienced a lot of academic success. They have, they have not felt good about themselves in terms, of, in terms of academics. So when they go to work and they finish a task, whether it's data entry, a scanning project, uh, delivering mail, something very simple, they've done something concrete and tangible. They've completed a task, they've done a job, they've been in the workforce, they've seen what the workforce is all about, they feel better about themselves, and they're more motivated when they go to college because they, they, they see what work is all about and they've had a chance to have some success. And that spills over into the classroom. So, um, I, I think you've got to, and I'm, I'm my, pers my perspective is narrow, it's nine through 12, it's high school, it's getting kids ready for college. My perspective is you've got to give them a chance to reflect in a concrete and tangible way about what it takes to be successful. You've got to give them an experience, which you can do in the classroom for sure, you can do it outside of the classroom, in which they experience success and they understand what it takes to be successful in college and beyond. And that's the qualities I talked about that are, that are certainly you need good content. But you also have to have what Angela Duckworth calls the grid scale. You've got to, you've got to have perseverance, you've got to have self-discipline. You've got to have tenacity. You've got to have all these characteristics to make it. 